everything that they say is bullshit, it's not real, it's crap. Hi guys and welcome to Gary Reviews and to this very special video about, well, my favorite YouTubers. First, I decided to talk about something that I'm very passionate about, so I'm like, well, why do I talk about things that I'm passionate about? Like, it's no brainer, basically. So, I am very passionate about the people that I watch that I inspire, well, the people that inspire me, so to speak, and that I find very, very interesting. It is Craig Doucette, this guy right here. He is an IBB pro that talks openly about all kinds of substances. And he talks about uh, bodybuilding, he talks about other YouTubers, he basically assesses their body fat percentages. He talks about also, uh, like, for instance, if a celebrity is natural or not, let's say Henry Cavill for The Witcher, did he achieve that naturally or not? All of those things. And so um, I find Greg very, very entertaining. I watch him every day because he basically has a video every other day. He also talks about girls that are natural or not. <laughs> so yeah, I think that he's a great guy that figured out how to make, um, you know, his uh, career, I mean, to be a coach, uh, a very successful business. And because he has very awesome personality, he's very entertaining. He screams a lot at the camera. <laughs> You're doing your cardio too slow. Modern pace, people. There is zero percent chance this is natural. Zero. He is now extremely successful, like really, really fast. And I wanted to basically to talk about, um, you know, him, because I kind of want to recommend for you guys who to watch, so to speak, if you're interested in fitness. And he is one of those guys that will give you really, really good information overall about dieting and training. He's going to bust some myths about training and exercise and once again diet. He also has very interesting way of keeping himself into shape and it's similar to what I do where you eat what you like but at the same time you try to get your necessary proteins, fats, carbs and you know, macronutrients, everything. The one thing that I would say about Greg, uh, really the one thing that I don't really like about him, <laughs> just one, it's, it's what he thinks about autophagy and what he thinks about fasting. Uh, he does not really like that so much. I mean, he does not think that is beneficial as a lot of other people will say that this and I as a person that has five years of experience in fasting and know all about it and know about autophagy and did the research and actually looked at a lot of studies, long time studies. I also follow a lot of channels that look for studies and um, dissect them and they point out their shortcomings or their strengths because there's so many different studies that let people eat whatever they want and then they call it fasting or just uh, let them eat little bits when they are supposed to be fasting which of course is not fasting at all so that immediately disqualifies this particular study as a study on fasting I and mean, there's so so much information out there that proves uh, like for real, I mean, for the good studies, how fasting is so beneficial for you and how autophagy does keep you younger and does keep you healthier for the long run, even could improve your whole cardiovascular system. You know, there's like four years of study now. I mean, there's so many, so many things. I've talked about all of that a lot of times. This is the one thing though that Greg does, does not really like and he doesn't think that it has any kind of a benefits. He's like, well, calorie deficit is the only thing that matters and yeah, like fasting is not going to do anything for you, but that is totally not the case. You know, you can do calorie deficit and fasting because that is what you have to do. You cannot eat like a pig and do fasting and expect that fasting is going to do everything for you and you're just gonna magically lose weight without keeping the calorie deficit a deficit. But also if you are only doing calorie deficit without fasting, you're going to lose muscle a lot more than if you use fasting because fasting protects the muscle. And that has been also proven through different studies. So I was really battled, like, how how is he not accepting this? I mean, how is he, I mean, he's a very smart guy. He does not, um, you know, believe at all that fasting could do all of those things for you. He doesn't think that they are relevant. He doesn't 
you know support them at all i just don't get that to this day i really don't get that because again there's so much proof for that and he does not have any experience in fasting as far as i know where i have five years of experience which is a lot you can say it's a big chunk of my young life before that i was struggling with a lot of other things and the fasting is the only thing that kept me in a perfect health condition he, his recent videos he discussing one guy that is on keto his trainer also does one meal a day your body release they make more growth hormone which is the critical hormone when you're trying to build muscle will fasting and training on an empty stomach make you better in the gym and no you're gonna be weaker if you train fasted but actually you're not you're gonna be very very strong when you're training fasted like for instance this morning to 4 p.m in the afternoon i went to three different stores on foot walked about 16,000 steps to go to the three stores i had to go to the farthest one get everything that i needed from there went back home that was two very very heavy bags at least 10 kilos in each hand you know i left the bags i distributed everything in the fridge then took the same bags 10 minutes of walking went through everything there bought everything got two big bags again went home brought home left them you know took the bags went to the other store and all of that went home from there as well so all of that was very heavy it took me a few hours to to do all by foot and at the end uh yeah at four o'clock because i usually start eating at 12 or 1 yeah i was feeling now very weak and my blood sugar was a bit down yeah that's a bit excessive because basically i was fasting for almost 24 hours by this point but you're if you're fasting for you know less than that and if you're used to fasting like i am you're not gonna be weaker i mean the body just just goes and goes and goes because you're getting fat adapted like when you do keto but you're doing this without you know restricting any micronutrient so you just naturally go into ketosis and you're like running on fat so the fuel is not very like spontaneous and you know it's not that burst of energy that carbs can give you but is that steady almost absolutely not almost but constant energy just keeps and keeps on going and going and going and then after i really really exhausted myself <laughs> for bringing all of those bags and not eating absolutely anything just drinking water and black coffee just sips like a sip of black coffee then i'm you know going to the next store you know uh, then go back home sip another <laughs> you know go back anyway i don't want to dig in into that i just want to say that for everything else i would definitely go to greg to be informed entertained and uh, he has amazing recipes he has this series that he calls the anabolic kitchen and uh, <laughs> he does some great stuff there i even try to do his ice cream when i do somebody else's recipe just to try it then i will immediately see how it could be improved in terms of macros taste and everything so i'm just making it better but his ice cream is pretty good it's, it's not bad and gave me another great idea for an ice cream as well so if you ever wondered uh who to follow and to be entertained in terms of fitness greg is the guy he also has awesome videos on how to you know see what body fat percentages people are because a lot of people overestimate or underestimate how fat they are actually and he has a really accurate eye when it comes to that now another thing that i really wanted to touch upon is his also one of his latest videos about bradley cooper and the fact that you know bradley cooper in order to play the sniper guy that movie and i think that i also touched upon that in one of my previous videos but it was like a year ago he had to gain 30 pounds which is like 15 kilos of muscle to play this guy and of course every person that is sane and knows anything about gaining muscle and how the body works absolutely know that that's impossible to do naturally you can do it you can do that for two months it's absolutely impossible this is just four weeks and greg was absolutely right and on point 
how he cannot do it and that this fitness Hollywood trainer that was trying to explain how he did it is full of bullcrap, basically. Now, another thing that I wanted to get here into this video is exactly this point of Greg about the Hollywood and this is the point that he made in the other video about the keto and the fasting so that's why I'm interjecting here to add this uh, point and what Greg has to say because it is relevant as well to what happened with Bradley Cooper and what he trainer said and in general how people in Hollywood like to explain how they achieve their physiques with these impossible days time uh, they made absurd amounts of muscle and all the regular people in the world think that that is perfectly doable or that they can't do that themselves and so on yes they can because it's not possible but that's another point so yeah here it is now he trains a bunch of celebrities and he doesn't want them to get hurt so they just kind of go through the motions and they take the supplements and they don't talk about it and they eat chicken and broccoli or they fast and they eat one meal a day and it's the big thing is oh i made all this progress because my natty growth hormone levels were raised so high because i fasted greg here is gonna try to say how you know all those celebrities said uh, that the fasting made them so jacked or so lean or whatever i mean that was his point not exact words but i'm not going to get again into that to explain why for me you know fasting it's really working in a lot of other ways and it's beneficial but now let's go to the next point of greg and of course please guys go and see those original videos because they're totally worth it and i connected what he said about the celebrities because it's also relevant to bradley cooper situation 30 pounds of muscle in 12 weeks let that sink in that's a good amount of gain for three years not three months that is a lot of muscle to gain if you are excessively enhanced for a newbie. Most people will not put on 30 pounds of muscle in three months on anything and everything. And they don't say they're taking anything. So they're suggesting that this is natural. They're not talking about it. They're not saying, oh yeah, I avoid it all. But they're certainly taking it. There is 0% chance this is natural. Zero. Zero. That's how much chance. You guys think this is possible? It is impossible. Everything that they say is bullshit. It's not real. It's crap. I mean, they have to lie because if they don't lie, Hollywood is risking to be exposed. Like I said, every same person that deals with fitness and whatever, that has any kind of experience and knowledge on fitness, training and nutrition and how the human body works, will know that you cannot do that is absolutely impossible actually even if you're enhanced it's very hard to do let alone if you're you know just a skinny guy before that and you have to gain so much weight and most of that has to be muscle to be this uh super big sniper soldier guy let's say so the problem with all of those fitness uh, videos about celebrities that achieve this and that physique is that a lot of people you know the common folk are watching that and they're like well that is absolutely impossible i cannot achieve the body of my dreams i cannot train for that for that many hours i cannot eat five times a day i cannot do that where actually no you're not required to do so to achieve the physique that you want because Bradley Cooper said he had to train five hours a day. Most of everybody else say that they ate chicken and broccoli. <laughs> you know, that is exactly what Greg says. He also, you know, says like, ah, they, they say that they eat this and that, blah, blah, blah. where your diet to achieve the physique that you want do not have to be so boring and so unbearable. That That's bullcrap. And you don't have to train five hours a day. Who can train five hours a day? Even guys that take enhancements cannot train that much they're gonna be absolutely drained so what was his training like oh you know i got up at five or six a.m every day and i trained for five hours five does that sound like something you should do when you're natural if you want to put on 30 pounds you just train more hours see there's this misconception in the world that you think you just keep training harder hard 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 oh if you just do it hard enough you're going to gain all that muscle 
If that was the case, I'd lift weight for 12 hours a day and I'd be 300 pounds and I would do it. But it's not the case. Overtraining, you don't build more muscle, you build less. Now with anabolics, it allows you to recover faster and so on. But even still, five hours makes zero sense for anyone. No one needs to train for five hours to put on muscle and size. If you're training that much five hours, you might get smaller because newsflash, a calorie deficit could occur. If you train hard for five hours, you're going to burn off a lot of calories and you're not going to get bigger. You shouldn't be training five hours, but that's what he says he did because it's a nice story. You know, I got up at five, trained for five hours and la di da, here I am. I added 30 pounds of muscle and 10 pounds of water and I put on 40 pounds and now I'm a Jack Navy SEAL looking dude. It is ridiculous guys. And if you want to achieve the physique of your life, uh, you really have to gain knowledge, but of course that is what I'm here to do. I'm going to make a lot more content about fitness from now on. I want to try to educate you guys so you can be more aware of what is possible and what's not possible naturally. And of course, why you should train naturally. And although Greg here, he's not natural right now, but he was natural for the majority of his bodybuilding career. He achieved a lot just being natural and then he switched so he can turn pro and not being natural since then he takes only the necessary amounts to sustain himself when he's not you know on a contest prep and he knows what he's doing i mean he's like 44 i think 42 like years old so he has to take some tests to support his hormones it's a therapeutic dose he can explain all of that if you watch his videos the point is that he's very open about all of those substances he does not promote taking them he knows the risk he knows everything so he's super honest super straightforward he tells things like they are except for fasting <laughs> uh but yeah he's going to be honest i tell it like it is and uh, he's definitely a genuine guy, no matter how many times I agree with him or not, which is 99% of the time I do agree with him. Like he said, I'm 99% time, 99% of the time I'm right, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I could say that he's 99% of the time right, <laughs> except for fasting. <laughs> but anyway, guys, for some of those guys that I want to talk about in the future in my on my channel, uh, there are really people that are worth looking at and following and for me personally because they are very successful people that really knows what they're talking about i am getting more motivated more driven i am reminded of that if you want something you should fight for it if you want to achieve whatever it is in life whether that be physique business success to be financially independent whatever it is in life to watch successful people that are really you know genuine as far as i can see it to me is obvious that really fought for for what they have now they were not just given this that they have it's all a product of years of uh, hard work and thought put into what they're doing and how they did it so it's beneficial to watch such such people you know it's not a waste of time to watch their content because they are providing value for the viewers for all the people that actually want to also achieve something and not be just uh, a regular person you have to have different mindset you have to have the mindset for success to believe in yourself to know that you can so if you have that you already have the base you have to align all of your willpower desires the dreams uh, strengths you have to unite everything within you and focus that on your purpose on your dream on your goal to have this go and to work for it so all of those people that i want to focus on and talk to you about so you know about them i think that could help you as well to be driven and to achieve your dreams it's a slow process it's grinding but it's all worth it in the end because you did it and you build that with your own two hands efforts it builds you a lot of other qualities that they're just irreplaceable you cannot buy them you have to create them within within you and that's why they're so so precious so that's it guys thank you very much for watching if greg ever sees this video i really want to say thank you to him for being such a great person delivering awesome information at the same time that is my dream that's my dream well i can scream at the mic but i will do whatever i am good at okay <laughs> so 
that's it guys thank you very much for the support until next time with me gary g reviews bye guys he has a great message there's no perfect diet the perfect diet is the one that you can follow Try all the different diets, experiment, see the one that works best for you. The one that works best for you is the one you can sustain for the long time, the forever time, not a band-aid, not three months, not six months, forever. So if you start a diet and you see it and you don't think you can do this diet a year or two from now, don't do the diet in the first place because it's not going to work. It's going to just yo-yo, yo-yo diet all the time. <music>